Hello, my name is Randall, and in this screencast, I'm going to introduce you to a few of the features of Gale Virtual Reference Library. Gale Virtual Reference Library is an online database of full text encyclopedia articles. It also includes entries from specialized dictionaries. When you first log on to Gale Virtual, this is the default page, and the default search option is the basic search. There's also an advanced search option. Another feature to point out on this page is the dictionary. If I select dictionary here towards the top of the page, it will open up a dictionary in a new window. That can be very useful if you are reading an article and you come across a term that you don't know. Now, in order to show you a few more features of this database, I'm going to do an example search using the terms global warming. If I wanted to, I could put those terms in quotation marks to search for that exact phrase. I could also use Boolean operators. But for this search, I'm just going to use keywords. And I left out the other one. So I'm going to go back and put that in. OK, now I'm going to select Search. As you can see, I retrieved quite a few results. And the first few results are articles specifically on global warming from several different encyclopedias. Before I select one of these citations, I want to point out on the left-hand side of the screen is a list of categories, and I can use these to narrow my search to a specific type of material. So if I wanted legal materials, I could select law overview. If I wanted statistical information, there's an option for statistical data. Now turning to the citations, the title of the article is listed first, then the title of the reference source the article is from. Below that are two links to the full text of the article. There's a PDF link and an HTML link. And clicking this HTML link or clicking the title will open up the same page, the, the full text and HTML of the article. So I'm going to select global warming in the title. Now I just want to point out a few things on this page. Scroll down and you can see there's the title of the article again and then the full text of the article. Up here towards the top of the page on the right in this tools box are some very useful features. There's another PDF link, print preview, email download, and citation tools. And now I'm going to scroll down to the article. At the end of each article is a list of related articles that can be found in this specific encyclopedia. See here, see also disaster management, greenhouse effects, and science. And then following that is a bibliography tab. So that's just a few of the features of this database. Hopefully, this is enough information to help you get started if you wanted to try using it. I hope you found this informative and you can speak soon.